Walking through the Olympic Village, it didn't feel real. Once we landed in Tokyo and you see all the water, like a lot of this place is covered with water. Once you see all that, you're kind of like, wow, you know, I am far away from home. And the summer was pretty productive. <laughs> I did summer research with Skitsi Southwestern, but all of that was remote work, so I was able to train with the Nigerian national team. It's quite difficult, to be honest. I didn't think this would be something that I would be doing when I chose to go to medical school, but it kind of just worked out that way to where I didn't have to sacrifice one dream at the expense of another. It's now eight o'clock. Watched one lecture live, actually, and then I actually did some Anki, so I'm feeling good. First practice is from 10 to 12. I'm about to go do film and recovery, and then I'll have two hours before the second practice, so you already know I'm about to study. My first game out of the Olympics will be on July 27th against Team USA, so it's super exciting. UT Southwestern has given me so much already in one year that being able to make the deans, maybe some of my classmates, or just the UT Southwestern community proud, it really means a lot to me to have been able to accomplish getting into med school and finishing my first year, about to start my second year, as well as making it to the Olympics. To me, it really just shows a testament that you can't doubt what you're capable of or your journey. Don't put yourself in a box, you know? You can excel at two things at the highest level.